everybody. Um, this is a very short version of the tutorial I just uploaded. Um, how do you add objects that are pictures into Pivot so you can then animate them? Uh, and it gives you like these two dots. All right, well, it's pretty easy to do. First, you go to the internet and you type in a name and then you type in the letters PNG. That is a file type that allows you to have transparency around the image. So you'll notice that when I type that in, you'll see a lot of these pictures are the characters with no background behind them. So if you click on a character like this and you see it, it has, um, I'm gonna move my face. You'll see there's this checkerboard. Now that does not always mean that you're gonna have a transparent image, but I'm gonna just try this. I'm gonna right click on this image and I'm gonna say save image as. And look at that, it does say that it's a PNG and it says Shrek. Now this may or may not be a transparent PNG and we're about to find out. I'm just gonna delete all those extra words. I'm gonna write Shrek one. I'm gonna save him into my downloads or my desktop. And then I'm gonna open up Pivot and I'm gonna to try to import him. So let's go file, load sprite image. That's the key, load sprite image. By the way, I'm wearing my mask because I have students in my classroom, so it's mask day. Um, so I'm gonna to go to Shrek. There's, wait, what did I call it? Shrek one? Was that Shrek? Yeah, okay, open. Okay, now it loaded because it's a PNG, but it loaded with this checkerboard background, which we really don't want. Now, there's a couple ways to get rid of that. If you go to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's go back to the picture. You can right click and copy this picture, right click, copy image. And there's a website called Pixlr. Um, I'm gonna go back to the home page, pixlr.com, and you can hit control V and paste an image in, and then you can resave it, file, and see that it actually got rid of the checkerboard now. The, the checkerboard you're seeing is, the checkerboard that comes with this program. I'm gonna to go to File, Export, Image as PNG. And then I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna call this Shrek, I don't know, Shrek 10, Shrek 10, like Ben 10, but Shrek. And then we'll go in here, File, Load. And I'm gonna to, to take this one and make it way smaller. It's super big. Type a number, maybe 30. There we go. I don't want that one really, but I'm just gonna leave it there. File, load sprite image, Shrek 10, open. Look at that, background's gone. He's very big. I might wanna shrink him a little, um, but uh, there's, there's, a, there's another way to do that. And if, you get, if you're lucky enough to find one, there we go. This is the one. For example, when I click on this one, you'll see it starts with a white background, but it disappears into a checkerboard. Now, if I save this one, Save image as, right click, save image as. You see, uh, see it's a WebP file. That's not the right kind. You, you want one that says PNG right here. And when you find one that is PNG, I'm gonna try Among Us. Among Us PNG. Among Us PNG. So I'm gonna click on that image and I see it. I'm gonna try to right click and save image as. And it, look at that, it says it's a PNG. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna type it and save it. And then I'm going to open up Pivot and we're gonna go file, load sprite image. And let's see Among Us Green, open. Okay, that one is not great because look at that, we're getting the that checkerboard that we don't wanna see. So um, sometimes it's a little experimentation. You have to like, try okay that one actually looks cleaner save image as i'm going to call this one among us red among us red and it downloaded and now i'm going to go to file load sprite image among us red open okay now that one looks clean it's actually ginormous make that much smaller um and there's my little there's my little guy play. Shrek's waving and then everybody's there. Okay. That's how you get it. I wanted to simplify it. I hope that helps.